Yes, 23 walk in Adelaide. On 16th September 2023, an inspiring event unfolded in the heart of Adelaide, South Australia, as thousands of enthusiastic individuals came together for the Yes 23 walk. This historic walk aimed to rely support for the First Nation of Australia in the upcoming referendum scheduled on 14th October 2023. The event resonated with the unity, solidarity, and a shared commitment to a brighter future. The Yes 23 walk was a poignant demonstration of collective resolve. Participants, including Aboriginals, multicultural Australians, Hazari Yes campaigners, and supporters of the First Nation of Australia, came together to amplify their support for the referendum. This event embodied the spirit of inclusivity, collaboration, and a shared demonstration to recognize and respect the rights and sovereignty of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. <music> collaboration with Ghana people a poignant moment of the event was the collaboration with the Guana people, an indigenous group in Australia. Tonya Hush, the first speaker, represented the Guana people and formally sealed an agreement for collaboration. Thank you, everyone. It was so beautiful to see the beginning of the march coming up as the end was going. There were so many of you. So let's give it a big cheer for yourselves. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. Our first speaker today is Tanya Hosh, and she's a remarkable woman. Thank you for coming out on this stunning, stunning day that we've been blessed with to help spread the message that the Australian Constitution, as it stands, does not reflect who we are as a nation. At the moment, the Australian Constitution recognises lighthouses, it recognises coinage, and it recognises Queen Victoria, but it says absolutely nothing about the people who have always been here. Nothing. It's important to be positive as we embrace this moment for change, because it's going to be that positivity and determination that gets us across the line to a successful vote that finally acknowledges Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples is the first people of this country in the country's birth certificate. But not only that, it's going to bring a practical expression through a voice to parliament. It is act of unity and underscored the importance of Indigenous partnership and reconciliation. On the 15th of October, and so guess what? The majority of the 17 million Australians who went out to vote yesterday finally recognise the truth about who we are and acknowledge us as the first peoples of this country in the Australian Constitution. 17 million people, that's what we want. We want everyone to say yes. Gathering at Victoria Square the event commenced at Victoria Square where a vibrant and diverse assembly of people gathered. This atmosphere was electric with anticipation reflecting the significance of the day. The event featured a notable address by the Australian Foreign Minister Penny Wong. And pay my respects uh, to the custodians of this land and to all elders uh, past present and emerging and to all uh, Aboriginal elders who are here today. Minister Wong delivered a passionate speech about the significance of the walk and its role in fostering unity among Australians. Our First Pete Nations people have come together a number of years ago after talking 
with each other across the nation and they came together at Uluru and they issued an invitation to our country, an invitation to walk together to a better future. And on October 14th, we have the chance to show that we listened, that we listened and understood what this ask is, what this invitation is. The voice is about, first of all, it is about listening. It is about listening today. It is about recognition and it is about better results. It's about listening so we can close the gap that we have not. But you know it's also about listening to the voices of tomorrow. She emphasised that this event was not just about walking but about Australians coming together to support the First Nation of Australia. It is won by the conversations that all of you have with your family and your friends and your work colleagues and those you play sport with, those in all parts of your life. It is about having those conversations and I urge all of you, all of you to do that, to campaign in every way you can, but most of all to campaign by engaging in conversation with people. And our message is really very simple. We want to listen. We want to recognise and we want to make this a better country. And that they can walk together to that brighter future. Thank you, friends. As participants gathered in Victoria Square, a few singers performed songs that elevating the spirit of togetherness and collaboration among the Australian people. He's been releasing music and touring with his mate Rula, Kelly Wilson, and as Marlon, Marlon X Rula, but also performed solo as Marlon. So can we please make Marlon feel welcome? Thank you. <laughs> Melodies rendition added a harmonious dimension to the event. The US 23 walk in Adelaide on 16 September 2023 was a historic occasion that celebrated unity, diversity, and a shared vision of justice. Thousands of Australians, including Aboriginals, multicultural communities, and allies, came together to stand in solidarity with the First Nation of Australia. As the referendum did on 14th October 2023 approached, the event served a poignant reminder of the Australian community's unwavering commitment to reconciliation and equality. It was a day when Australians from all walks of life united to proclaim I say boys, we say yes! When I say boys, we say yes! Affirming the resolute support for the First Nation of Australia's aspiration for a more inclusive and equitable future. The event's success lies not only in its number, but in the collective voice it represented.
a voice of unity, hope and change. I think it's so important to have the both of us as women leading in this state, um, having, you know, us as youth as well. And yeah, so I'm Jakia Telf and this is Joanne Sutton and we are the state coordinators for the Yes campaign here in South Australia. Thank you, Adelaide. I'm not going to keep you, but I'm going to ask one thing is if you haven't already signed up to volunteer, please sign up to yes23.com.au. As we've said all throughout today, as all of our wonderful speakers have said, this will be one conversation by conversation. This is an invitation for the Australian people to do something historic. We walk on the shoulders of giants. We can win this in October 2023. Go out, door knock, phone bank, get involved, talk to family, talk to friends, conversation by conversation, and on the 15th, we will wake up to a better and brighter future. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Safe travels home. Please do not forget to put hands together to like, subscribe, and share your comments. Thank you for watching and supporting.